Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, it is a review video. It's been a little while since I've done one. Um, I was just down in a local shop and I saw this and a couple of people have requested that I do this. A Rustler's uh, cheeseburger, quarter pounder review. Um, excuse the background noise. My house is full of people still. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm escaping them and doing this. It's about the right time for a nice little mid-afternoon snack. Uh, I've never had one. I've never had a microwavable burger. I'm pretty picky about my cheeseburgers, so it's going to have to do well to impress me. Right, so instructions. Get the burger out, put it in the microwave for 1 minute 50 seconds and then leave it to stand. Here we go. Simple as simple does. Now, initial looks. It looks like a decent burger to be honest with you. Looks like a decent burger. Um, let's stick it in. Stick it in. There's all my little nieces, nephews are trying to get in here. Um, so you'll have to excuse the noise. Actually, not some of them aren't even nieces and nephews. Some of them are my cousin's kids. What was that making them to me? I don't know, but like a great uncle. Um, they're not my nieces and nephews though. There's that there's a one removed from there. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm feeling a little bit peckish as it is. It's a good mid-afternoon snack. It's come with a slice of cheese and some rustler's sauce, which I'm hoping is ketchup. Um, does it specify that? Um, it just says squeeze over our signature sauce. I'm trusting that's ketchup, so I like ketchup in my burgers. <coughs> Only two pounds it was, which is quite cheap for a, um, a decent sized snack. And it says fully, be, fully traceable to the farm of origin. Um, I guess that's talking about the beef in it, which is I guess, quite a reassuring statement. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the quality of the meat, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a tendency with the cheap meat to just be all kind of eyeballs and arseholes, tendons and ligaments, you know, the grim cuts. It may well be traceable to the farm of origin, but it's more than likely made up of the offcuts of stringy nerve endings and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not really talking it up, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous. A microwavable burger. Uh, my family seems to have left me alone a little bit in here now. I did tell them I was making a video. It's, um, yeah, it's been exactly the same today as it was yesterday. Tim's been winding me up. At least my sister, the one I don't like, Amy, has only been here for an hour or so. Uh, her hair is looking even more ridiculous, right? I told you a little while ago, she's dyed her fringe, the front of it. She dyed it initially, it was yellow, not blonde, yellow, orange and red, like a demented candle. Now, she's dyed it like, there's like about four different colours in there. There's like a dark blue, um, like a, a greeny turquoisey colour, um, like purples, two different kinds of purples and stuff. It looks, she looks like a peacock. An actual peacock, like it's ridiculous. Right, we've got property pin, so microwave says it's done. Um, I meant to leave it to stand for one minute 30, which seems like a long time. Um, but I guess I can do the prep, so I'm just gonna take the bun off. Uh, the bun has got that off, it's somewhat fused to um, the burger, but it's okay, it's been under intense heat, it's been nuked. Um, got the slice of cheese is going on now. I'll put that on early because you want it to melt. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, the burger really does not look appetizing. There's great big white lumps in it. Um, I'm hoping, you know, best case scenario, that's just fact. Worst case scenario, it's a tendon or something or a bit of an eyeball. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping not. Right, so open the signature sauce. Um, that's quite posh sounding, isn't it? Signature sauce for a two pound burger that you stick in the microwave. but. Maybe that's where most of their effort goes on the sauce. Who can say? Right, squirting on me a little bit. Uh, oh, God, that's not ketchup. It looks like mascarpone or something. Right. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's hotter than the sun. Um, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. Right, let's just turn it over. God, that. It's all floppy and stuff. It's almost radioactive. Right. It's steaming. I'm actually feeling sick looking at this. Um, yesterday I had four perfect cheeseburgers, um, cooked pounders that I made on the barbecue. They were gorgeous. Now I'm about to have this. It's 
really hot. Right, here we go. I got the... No, not there, there's a white lump. I get the feeling you've got to eat it while it's hot because this meat feels incredibly rubbery. Go on, here we go. Oh, God, that tastes revolting. It's like plastic. Oh, the sauce isn't good, but the burger. My God, that meat tastes like AIDS. Oh, Christ, if I'd swallowed that, I'd imagine it would quite probably give me some kind of cancer. That's got to be carcinogenic. That is two pounds wasted. And I'm, you know, I'm all for cheap food and stuff. I love a good bargain. But do not, I repeat, do not waste your money on a Rossler's burger because they are disgusting, absolutely revolting. I would not recommend this in any way, shape or form. It's diseased. It's diseased. Oh, the sauce smells horrible. Everything about it is horrible. That was, if AIDS to disease had a taste, it would taste like that. Ugh.